Hi, I want to show you guys all my little setup here. I have my uh, Windows 8 desktop here in the background. So you can see that. And then here I have my Windows 8 tablet, which is just an Acer tablet. And, uh, and uh, on our YouTube channel, we've created a bunch of uh, videos to teach you how to do uh, Hyper-V instead of virtual machines. So uh, in the last one we created uh, Windows 8.1 and it's a virtual machine. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to try Windows 8.1 on the Acer and how can I do that without loading it on the Acer? I want to check the touch and everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect from the desktop we're going to connect to this virtual machine that we've created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in on the desktop with my password. And waiting for that to log into my virtual machine here. And then what I want to do is I want to, uh, I'll just start typing command. So we're going to run the command prompt. And now we're going to do a IP config. And we're going to get the IP address. The IP address is, I'll zoom in the camera a little bit so maybe. So you can see there the IP address that we're interested in is the 192.168.0.2.1. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the, uh, the tablet, which is there, and we're going to search for remote desktop on the tablet. So I'm going to turn on my keyboard. I have a Bluetooth keyboard. remote desktop right there. I'm going to touch that. And we're going to set the computer to be the same IP address as our desktop. So we set the IP address of the remote desktop to be the same. And we're just going to hit a connect there. Now what this is going to do is the tablet is going to connect to the um, to the desktop. So let's zoom out there. And the tablet's going to connect to the desktop when we do this. It'll say, are we sure we want to do that? Now it'll automatically log in. And now you can see, we see the IP config that we ran on the desktop, on the tablet. So now we can test Windows 8.1 on the desktop or on the tablet by using the touch screen. So if I want to check it out now I can uh, scroll around on the screen also there's the apps are down here now. So we can go back to our desktop we have the start screen button down there, but it's not that big of a deal because it's also on my tablet. You can also get it from here, and it's also on the uh, keyboard, if you got a keyboard. Uh, and then we'll make some videos from the tablet directly. So uh, check out the videos on our website and on our 321 Learn uh, YouTube channel. Thanks.